want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution, where I talk about everything crypto daily. Before I jump into this video, I want to say thank you for everyone that's been hitting that like button. Please hit that like button. Trying to get a like spike going, a thousand likes a video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. I'm going to keep you up to date on everything crypto on a daily basis. Jumping right into the market today in crypto, Green Day. Overall market cap of cryptocurrency, 258 billion dollars bitcoin just above nine thousand nine thousand thirty five this i was up all night last night we're waiting for this breakout this is a pretty important breakout i mean it confirmed the inverse head and shoulders we've been talking about uh so this is a bitcoin 15 minute chart i don't normally chart lower time frames unless i'm looking for a big move so you can see you got this resistance and this is a confirmation line again where all those cell walls are at Bitcoin broke through these cell walls, this resistance, and did move higher. And, and I basically pointed out, hey, you've got a bullish MACD cross, possible hidden bullish divergence, looking for this move higher. Uh, the falling wedge on the RSI also broke higher, actually, before this move. Now, we had the move and run up to about 9160 and a retrace, which we've been waiting for. So you see, now I've added this rising wedge idea perfectly normal and perfectly healthy for bitcoin to pull back and come back down to this support level actually this would be your bounce idea if you if you get a retest here there's a good possibility that you get a bounce and a move higher now your measured move of this uh, inverse head and shoulders is 93.85 the problem is this you've got this huge structure that we broke to the downside of this is a falling wedge so there's going to be some overhead resistance here it's going to be tough for Bitcoin to get up into the 9,200 area. Really good sign for Bitcoin if it can break higher. So you, you're keeping an eye on this possible bearish MACD cross that's coming. Uh, and again, you're looking for a bounce here. Now, if it breaks lower and it breaks down into this pattern, Bitcoin's in trouble. Make sure and keep a stop in place. I've got a cryptocurrency trading group. I've got six chat groups where everybody's calling out breakouts, posting charts. I've got 41 videos in a playlist where if you don't know anything about trading this market at all, you can watch these videos to be making profitable trades. Main reason why people join the group, they want to make money in this market really fast. And I provide profitable trading setups daily. If you guys want to join the cryptocurrency trading group, you want to pay in crypto, email me, CryptoBitcoinChris at gmail.com. I'll get you set up and in the group today. If you pay with crypto for six months, you get a 20% discount. If you pay with crypto for the year, you get 30% off and an additional month for free. If you do want to pay for a pay with a card month to month, you can do so. There's a Patreon link in the description. This is Koti, C-O-T-I. I've talked to you guys about this back when it was just on KuCoin. Now it's on Binance. We had a midterm hold way down here. We got in and it's up 286%. Obviously, a lot of people took profits. on. Uh, there's a lot of upside potentially here. This doesn't mean buy Koti right now. This means you've got to buy the breakout. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't trade this. Shout out to Jesse. Lamar, he stated, I'm killing it all day, long and short. Moving averages are my secret money maker. Man, thank you, Chris. I've really changed my life, just like you said it would, in the first YouTube video I watched from you. Man, I can't stress enough to the people who are pondering on joining this group. All I got to say is if you don't join, then you're missing out. This is exactly what, what trading and, and cryptocurrency has done for me. So WRX up 110%. So you can see aggressive buy was way down here at the bottom huge gains in the trading group this person said i'm up five thousand dollars from your awesome wrx setup thanks pezos surge after a successful protocol upgrade news is part of this retail buys on news technicals are part of this wales smart money institution buy on technicals you have to have a good well-rounded approach to this market to be very successful and that's what it's all about so Tezos, the protocol upgrade, now this has happened three times total ever since 2018, but they corrected a formula for rewards and an increase in the gas limit. It's going to allow the network to execute more smart contracts. Interestingly enough, I had a Tezos setup posted on the 4th and yeah, it did break out. So a lot of times you got, you got some pretty amazing setups on these coins before the news happens. And so that... Kind of like which came first, the chicken or the egg? Person just made $400 on an XTZ trade, Tezos. Which came first, the news or the technicals?
the teams are smart. They contact me all the time. I don't normally mess with it ever, but they contact me and say, hey, we got this news coming. Da, da, da. The, the people behind the projects, they're the biggest holders of these coins. And they see a, a pattern on these charts. And they want to potentially manipulate or pump the price. Hey, what a good time to put out some news. Now, the news does it too. The news is going to say, hey, we got to find something to put behind this move to the upside. Tezos Foundation, they announced their participation in the latest round of funding for Zabo API. So this Zabo, they raised $2.5 million. They want to bring crypto into mainstream financial services, DeFi. Decentralized finance is going to be huge. Here's the line in the sand that's going to mark a major turning point for Bitcoin. We've talked about this idea in the past, how there's this big, huge inverse head and shoulders. And this is just one small part of it we're at now. 8,400, was this the bottom? And we have to go here, and this is the most important idea I want you guys to understand. You've got this huge triangle, which we've talked about on the Bitcoin chart. When Bitcoin breaks higher, there's a huge amount of upside. You know, potentially $14,000 Bitcoin is in the cards. So if you've been putting off, you know, buying Bitcoin, hey, maybe I'll, I'll get it next week or I'll, I'll get it next month. If you're just sitting on the sidelines, Potentially, you want to have the thought process, yeah, we could move down lower to, to 7,800 7, and get a bounce there if this rolls over. But you want to have that idea like, hey, this is your aggressive buy when Bitcoin hits this bottom trend line. I'll keep you up to date on this idea. If you guys haven't chosen a VPN yet, I recommend Pure VPN. I'm super paranoid about any time I work with my cryptocurrency, so I make sure that Pure VPN is enabled. Virtual private network. If you want to use... Binance, you want to use Bybit, BitMEX, any of those exchanges, you use Pure VPN. There's a link in the description. It does support the channel. Bitcoin stock to flow model on track for colossal gains after the halving. It's happening. Count on it. Some people are like, oh, maybe it's priced in. No, it's not. May 2020 halving. There's two months to go. Essentially, this stock to flow model in essence, we, we're looking at the same exact results year after year here. And it wouldn't make sense for us to expect anything different from happening. The stock to flow ratio lays everything out real clearly. Crypto Rand says Bitcoin's getting ready for the most epic halving in history. The last one, the last halving, Bitcoin skyrocketed 3,000%. Just think, what are you going to do with 3,000% gains? not going to happen in in a month or a week this is going to take some time to play out potentially there's a there's a pre-having hype fomo run up coming sooner and possibly a sell-off after the having like we've seen in previous videos but overall three thousand percent gains happened last time history doesn't always exactly repeat itself but something like this is in the cards it's going to be huge upside for bitcoin this is Bitcoin dominance. And what I want you to understand here is when these, when Bitcoin dominance is dropping, your altcoins are running hard, right? So this little altcoin season, little altcoin rally we had recently, Bitcoin dominance was getting wrecked. Now, Bitcoin dominance bounces and the altcoins aren't really, especially the larger caps, especially the larger caps. They're not really performing as well as they were. So you've got this bull flag. If this breaks out, you'll see 67% Bitcoin dominance. The altcoins will potentially take a little bit of a hit. You have to understand how this Bitcoin dominance chart works. You take the market cap of Bitcoin and then you divide it by the total market cap of all the cryptos and that equals your Bitcoin dominance by percentage. So if Bitcoin's 165 billion, total market cap is of all the altcoins and Bitcoin, 260 billion, then you got it 63% Bitcoin dominance, right? It makes up 63% of the market, Bitcoin's market cap. So when Bitcoin dominance drops, the inverse is altcoin dominance. When altcoin dominance goes up, that means altcoins make up a larger percentage of the market. Like understanding like these basic ideas, it's not necessarily technical analysis, but it will it, it will improve your performance of understanding and trading this market, even just buying and holding. Like you'll understand there's there's everything cyclical. You have to be jumping in these coins at the right times as far as this market goes. But remember, during an altcoin season, you'll see the Bitcoin dominance, Bitcoin dominance will be dropping. 
Bitcoin dominance is dropping during an altcoin season or up cycle, right? When this happens, you'll also have Bitcoin USDT pairs green and alt BTC pairs will be green. And so that gives you your altcoin season where these alts run extremely hard. HTC announces Exodus 5G hub, the world's most private router. So you can obviously 5G probably be as powerful as your microwave on our brains. People always talk about how 5G is going to be havoc on, on us as humans. But HTC moving forward, here's the ultra secure 5G connectivity. You can also run a Bitcoin, a full Bitcoin node from your home with this. Here we go. Mainstream adoption, 5G. I want to know where is the most interesting place that you trade or watch the crypto market. Hats off to the dedication of this gentleman below. Here he is in court. <laughs> he's in court. He's at jury duty. And he's, he's all interacting in chat, trying to make trades. Where's the craziest place that you guys, most interesting place that you guys check the market? I'm just curious. So Digitex sent this email out. Dear Digitexer, uh, we're now fully KYC free. Like there was a leak, there was 8,000 people's KYC that was leaked. And now you get this email that they're tossing KYC. KYC, no, we're not gonna do that anymore. There's a leak, so we ditched it. Now they sent out this, it was kind of, it's kind of funny, funny because it was this anonymous poll. And do you support that Digitex will be no KYC? 83%, yeah, they don't want any KYC. 17% said, no, we, 17% of people wanted to give out all their information to people on the internet who they've never met before. So out of 786 people, over 100 people said, hey, I want to just send you all my documentation. I want to know who these, I want to know, I want to know which 100 people in the world want to just give away all their KYC information to anybody, right? Who, who actually likes that? KYC, there needs to be a better way. Binance came out and they announced a new South Korean stable coin, South Korean stable coin and this is at the most opportune time because you know what just before that i had posted this amendment to special reporting act passes cryptocurrency now fully legal in south korea follow me on twitter by the way crypto btc underscore chris post all kinds of informative stuff so the passing of this amendment signifies the official entry of cryptocurrency trading and holding into the legal system for the South Korean government, a restructuring of the domestic blockchain industry is expected to take place as a result of this event. We just had India, crypto's back. Now we've got South Korea, crypto's fully legal. Huge news, mainstream adoption is spreading. However, I read this article, South Korean lawmakers, they green light a strict crypto AML bill. And this is probably the factual news here. South Korean lawmakers, they voted Thursday to place new tough requirements on crypto exchanges. And this idea adds to the legitimacy to the country's sprawling crypto economy. Probably people interpreted this and spun it how they wanted to. And you got some news out of Korea, how they're adopting legalizing crypto when really they're just defining the legalities and illegalities and how it's going to be overseen, which Again, same great news, different verbiage. A power plant in New York is reportedly mining roughly 50,000 in Bitcoin each day. $50,000 in Bitcoin each day. And they went on to state, hey, if we played things right in this halving situation, regardless how the halving materializes, due to our unique passion for a co-generation facility, we're able to make money in down markets so that we're able to catch the upside of volatile price swings. So what they're saying is, and this is a pretty amazing idea, you'll have Bitcoin mining could be a new business model for United States power plants right there at the source, converting power into Bitcoin. Essentially, that's what mining is, right? Robinhood, they suffered persistent outages. Everybody was ticked because Robinhood went down for a brief period of time. And maybe it wasn't very brief, but then... Robinhood says, hey, you were, we're, we're sorry about that. We're going to give everybody 15 bucks. Probably people lost a lot more than $15. These exchange, at least they gave something, you know, these exchanges, it's going to happen just in general. 
uh, especially these crypto exchanges. I'm, I'm just warning you now, you have a backup plan. You know, don't be top heavy on one exchange, have it spread out. Use a couple potentially. The Steam takeover and the coming proof of stake crisis. So the Steam takeover over still in the news. The idea here is proof of stake is, is kind of the very rich elite ha can control the network if they hold a lot of the coins. So this model assumes holders are using their tokens as they were intended to be used. In this situation, Steam, Justin Sun comes in and he, and he owns a huge amount of the Steam tokens and has a lot more voting power than anybody else and he's able to kind of push people around. So one of the downsides with proof of stake is this. The, the rich, the, the biggest holders have more power, right? I mean, essentially you could say the thing, uh, same thing about you know these mining operations where, where huge mining operations in China for, for you know Bitmain as an example, they would have more control over the network, you know, 51% of tax are an issue and so this is a similar idea except with proof of stake if you guys like the content that i provide on a daily basis definitely subscribe to the channel like the video comment below hit the bell for notifications thanks so much i will see you guys tomorrow